Welcome back. It's Radar again with another fun-filled 4B show. You know, some folks may not realize that the science fiction genre is more than just flights of fancy. These stories inspired so much more than just an escape from reality. They inspired the technology that we use today. From the cell phones we use, video conferencing, and even online gaming. Can you believe that? Well, these people saw the potential and went for it. Let's take a look at these pioneers. You may learn something. Whether you own an iPad, a Kindle, or any other touch screen device, you can thank Star Trek The Next Generation for this one. They used a device called the Path, or Personal Access Display Device, where you could have access to the computer database, play audiovisual files, or interpersonal laws. It's much like what we use today. Another technology that is closely linked to the Star Trek universe is of course the personal communication device. The communicator from the original series inspired the cell phone. Earlier models of the cell phone had the flip feature. Coincidence? I think not. The year is 1870, and Jules Verne publishes the now well-known classic, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The story centered around an inventor who traveled the seas in his highly advanced submarine, the Nautilus. Of course, submarines were around at the time, but the story itself inspired improvements on the old models of the period, making the possibility of undersea exploration a reality. Neil Stevenson's 1992 novel, Snow Crash, describes a fully immersive online metaverse where people interact with one another through representations called avatars. Philip Rosedale, the inventor of the online community Second Life, had been toying with the idea of virtual worlds since college. He credits Snow Crash for his inspiration. Video conferencing, Skyping, FaceTiming, it's pretty normal these days, but it didn't really become commonplace until the 21st century, with inspiration drawn from such things as the 1960s animated series, The Jetsons. Inspiration comes from many different sources, and these were just a few things that came to fruition. Whether you're an online gamer, or can't live without your iPad, remember it was these folks that brought these ideas to life. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like and comment. If you want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe button too so you won't miss one single episode. You can also find me at one of my links below. Till next time, I'll be seeing ya.